Hello everybody, so today we are going to replace this relay. Uh, it's uh, gone bad, it keeps tripping and it won't reset um, and it won't turn on the furnace. So uh, I went ahead and got a new one, it's the exact same thing. And uh, we're going to take this one off, put this one on and see how that goes. So the first step here uh, is I usually will take a picture up above of where all these leads are going so there's no confusion when we're putting it uh, putting it back together. And then all there is is three wires on the bottom side, which you see here. So we'll take uh, and loosen this screw, this screw, which will give us access to move this thing around. And then we'll start taking those off, transfer them to the new one, get it all plugged in. But the first step is to turn off the power. So we don't have any power to it. Um, I already turned the thermostat off, so we're good there. And so we're gonna go ahead and get started with this. All right, so to take the old one off, the first thing we want to do is loosen those two screws that are holding it in place. So you loosen this one here. And this one back here. And with those loose, you can turn it and move it backwards and this comes right off. So now, there's usually a lot of play in these lines. So what I'm gonna do is set my new one up here so that as I take them off of here, I can put them right up without any issue. So they're held on with a Phillips head, as you can kind of see there. So if we get our Phillips head, yeah, we have our red or our white red the two yellows and the blue one here and then this yellow one is just going through that hole there which will fish through this hole right here after we pop that thing off so i'm just going to systematically unscrew one and that's going right up here to this one So this will come off and we'll be able to move it and put it right on there and tighten it down. I am going to have to rotate that a little bit to get it to get enough slack. Oh, there we go. So just feed it right on. It's kind of hard to do with one hand. So um, you kind of get the idea. You know, that goes right on there and then we do the other ones. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and do that and then we'll check back in. All right, so the one thing that we need do need to do first, though, is to pop off the uh, the thing that the yellow wires go through, which, if you look from the underside, is this right here. Um, so you can use, like, a hammer or something, and it'll pop right out. So I just used a screwdriver, and that worked, worked great. So when you take the yellow wires off of this one, we need to... Uh, unfeed them through here and then feed them back through the new hole. All right, so we have our new one here and we have our old one sitting here still wired in. So if you trace the wires, you can see which goes to what. So I'm gonna take these. All right, I'm gonna kind of stand this up back here so that I can see them. Okay, so we got our old one, our old one our new one and usually I just systematically take a wire off and wire the old one or the new new one in so we make ourselves a little bit of room and here we can take our black wire unscrew that we can There's our black. So we're gonna go black to black. And we're not that together. After you wire them, get them both a little pulse to make sure 
they are good. Now we can do our white wire. As you can see, there's several wires coming in on this one. So again, make sure your power's off, of course. Okay, so we have multiple on here. So get those all lined up. Bring in your new white wire. We can screw those together. Again, just give them all a little tug, make sure none comes out. And then our last grouping, this one over here, which is the orange. We take that. Take that orange one off. And then we'll put this one on. All right, so that gives us those. And you can kind of push those inside the box so that they'll go nice and easy in there. So our old box is done. Put that off to the side. Maybe we can finish up our new box. So first thing we're gonna do is we wanna set that into place. Grab it, I can feed these yellow wires through as I do it. And slide in and rotate over. I'm gonna change my screwdriver to the standard and we can just screw this Do the same thing on this front one. Um, I did end up finding it, I didn't have enough slack in my wires to connect all those right away. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that now. So switch back to my Phillips side and make sure those are loose. And we'll connect our wires in. All right, so our white goes on the white, slide that on, our red goes on the red, I apologize for the noise, and then the C1 goes on here, so we'll tighten those down. Alright, so we got this all wired up, we have our wires back in place, we did the wiring on the underneath part, this is secured in, so first thing I'm going to turn on the furnace power. Okay, and then I can press this button to reset the relay, and now I need to go turn on the thermostat, and then we'll see if it fires up. All right, I hit the thermostat on, and by the time I came down, we have a flame. Uh, we're still, uh, this thing's still running. It didn't trip at all. Uh, the good thing is that I like to see is that flame, because uh, I wasn't getting one at all earlier. So, job well done. You know, I'm going to monitor it to make sure uh, everything keeps working. Um, but, yeah, I think we're all done. So, I'll put this cover back on, close this up. Uh, if you have any questions, comments, concerns, please leave them in the uh, comments below. I'll refer to another video that I did to replace the cat eye inside of here, the flame detector. And uh, leave any comments, suggestions, concerns in the comments below. Hit like, subscribe, and all that, and we will talk to you soon.